Titan Your Shrinkters, Deadman55 here, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Robots in the Skies, Combiner Force, Autobot Twin Inferno. Now I have done this video, uploaded it before, but I had to take it down, because it's kind of unfriendly, but yeah. Anyway, here I am doing it again. So, yeah. So here we got Twin Inferno right there. We'll get to him in a minute. So here is the package for Twin Inferno here. It is a pretty cool package. Kind of standard clam, clam, uh, kind of shell thingy <laughs> box. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, these are just windowed packages. How about that? I honestly don't care what these are called. <laughs> but yeah, we got a nice picture of the robot, Twin Inferno, up there. I think he does have his mouth open there. I'm pretty sure. But he looks pretty cool, and it will and it would be nice to see him in the show. But I don't know if that's happening yet. But uh, yeah, got the Transformers logo right there. Combine the Force logo, Hasbro logo, logo, high, age six up, six and up, so you don't have to be a kid to play with these. So there's a picture of him in his dragon jet mode, I think is what you call it. There's some other figures you can get on the bottom of the box. You get Bumblebee, which... I don't know if I want to get Bumblebee. I don't really, don't really like the design of this Bumblebee very much. You got, uh, what's his name? Thermidor, which is basically a blue bisque, which I don't think I want to get. And there's a bludgeon, which I really want to get, because he looks really, really good. I'm pretty sure I can manage one swear in this video, but, uh, yeah, yeah, Bludgeon looks badass. If I can find him, which has been a fail, looking for him, but whatever. Warrior's class, or warrior class, for Twin Inferno. There's a nice picture of him right there, little dragon head right there. Here's the back of the box. Transforms in eight steps. Right there. But it's just basically fiddling with him to get him to transform. There's him in robot mode and dragon mo mode. And dragon jet mode. And his faces do look more more chrome chrome in this picture, but that's whatever. It does have a game here that you can scan their symbol, unlock, and play in the game. And then, app available June 30th, 2019. That's when it's gonna end, I think. Got a Authentic Transformers and Hasbro. And then the App Store and the Google Play. And then, yeah. That's it for Twin Inferno's package. I can get rid of it. I've already transformed him enough. I don't need it anymore. But, here is our main focus of the video. To Inferno himself. Which is very cool. I like what they've done with this, this form. I was going to get the Titans Return one, but he was a little too square for me until I found this one. He's just more colorful, I think, and better put together, I think. But he's just a bomber jet, and then here's his flame effects on his back, which are also his swords, which are pretty cool. And you can put one right there. They just peg into those holes right there. You can put that up there, or even 
a Titan's Return gun or whatever. Yeah, I guess you'd have that as a, a somewhat of a tail. It doesn't look too bad. No, actually doesn't look too bad. Take the other one out there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Even though it's just the storage there and then you got two more storage areas and have it like that or behind like that but this is a weird mode I do not know what they were going for either a bomber or a dragon a two-headed dragon it doesn't make sense but now this figure was supposed to have extra wings, but I do not know how that was supposed to work. Because when I unboxed him, he only came with one of these and it broke off and came from right here, but I don't know, don't know how it went on, but yeah. He doesn't really need them, I think. I don't know why that happened, but it's just what happened. But in this in this mode, not really any articulation. Well, except the dragon heads go up and down, and their mouths open and close very nicely. I do like the dragon heads. They did a pretty good job with them. But you can also untab them from here, and they tab back in the place like like so then you just kind of untab them like that put that back down and then you can have a bomber with two dragon heads on the bottom pretty cool did I really like the scaling on the wings with the orange Right here. It's supposed to be gold, but it's orange. Okay, so now to transform him. Or, yeah, I'll wait on that a little bit. So, with the cockpit here, got some blue windows and some blue spots right there. Don't know what those are for. But here's the back. Here's the back with the engines and his legs. those out like that and then now we will start the transformation so what I like to do is just angle the wings up this is what you're supposed to do actually before you even do that I'm gonna put the cockpit in the back angle the wings up oh, swivel the head around put the arms down and then just take the legs Kinda, kinda straighten them a little bit, just like so. Angle those. Come on, you. Just pull it out like that, and make sure these parts are pushed up so they kinda lock in the place. And then move some stuff around. And then you have Twinferno in robot mode. It's a pretty cool robot mode. It's really nice. They did a nice job on this figure. He's got silver in there. Some orange down there. I don't know what that circle is. Kind of a turbine looking thing right there. Orange crest right there. Some blue goggles and silver face. Kinda see his mouth in there. For the dragons, they got blue eyes, black horns. The horns are nicely detailed. Got the gray neck and then the black joint right there. Now for these swords. Basically you just pick a mouth and put them in there. 
this is actually more trickier because sometimes they don't they don't want to go in and trying to push on them I'm pretty sure if you push push on them hard enough you will have these in your skin which I do not understand why they make it so difficult to put them in but you can put them in there just gotta wiggle them in but they will go in but if you have them on the the bottom of the jar here they're not very good for hit hitting other things because they'll fall off or they'll wiggle out but yeah you can do that with them which is very cool he'll let it go here we go all right now articulation time so the dragon heads you can open and close the mouth up and down at the elbow uh, 360 degree rotation at the bicep and then 360 at the uh, other shoulder here except you gotta bend them out so he doesn't get stuck up there and the leg 90 degree bend there I do believe and uh, <laughs> 360 degree dive movement can't kick back any at all but he can kick forward that much can, <laughs> can do the splits all the way no no real angle movement or any of that it can close and such and yeah this is a really nice figure and also has that little scaling there the little wings there there's the back not much for kibble which is oh, another plus but uh yeah now head can go 360 degrees no hindrance which is nice except the only problem if you wear this robot you can't really see over your shoulders but what I'm pretty sure Twinferno does is he can deactivate this head activate these heads so he can pretty much get a full degree of sight it's pretty genius or use all three heads at once I think that might be too much of an overload but yeah now I will transform him back so take the head turn it all the way to the back bring this down make sure these arms are out of the way fold these parts down and take the arms just make sure pegs go in where they're supposed to. Right in, right in there. And the pegs right there. You just push it together, just like that. Now the tricky part about these legs are sometimes they don't want to work, but you gotta make sure this part is pushed in pretty much all the way. So it can tab together. I do believe I got this one all right. So this this tab hole goes with that tab. That tab hole goes there. And basically you just wiggle it in there. Best you can. I have screwed up on this a bunch of times. And this might be one of those times. No, oh, I got it all good there and then we take do the same step on this leg which isn't the easiest oh come on you there we go now that, no, bring that down push that section in as far as it'll far as it'll go and then basically you push up and 
There you go. And then you can attach these on just like that. I know I didn't put them in the mouths, but these this location in the back here is way easier. Put them in because these go on the outside, and then the, yeah, the inner sides go in the inside. Which gives them a nice jet stream. And yeah, this is by far one of my favorite robots in the skies figures that I have got. Now, I don't really have many robots in the skies figures, but if you guys would like to see more, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, also, one more thing before I go is I now have 23 subscribers. And that is really awesome that 23 people have subscribed to me, which is great. So, if you guys want to subscribe, go right ahead. It would really help me out. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, there's a little bell icon you can smack or use a hammer, smash the bell. <laughs> But that lets you know when I upload a video. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Dirtman55 signing out.